Well, time might be running out for TikTok. This week, Congress could vote on a bill that forces the social media site to be sold or maybe even banned across the country. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald joining us this evening. And Fitz, it seems like uh, this topic is creating some unusual partners on the Hill there, huh? Uh, Angie, it sure is. You know, Democrats and Republicans don't really agree on much, but there is growing bipartisanship on the Hill right now for going after TikTok. Now, this is all sparked by concerns that the social media app could be easily exploited by the Chinese government to either steal data or manipulate the content that users watch. The bill has now advanced out of a House committee by a 50 to nothing vote, and that might lead to a nationwide ban on TikTok or its sale. The bill requires TikTok's Chinese parent company, ByteDance, to fully divest all of its applications within 180 days or risk a ban on those apps could also set up a way that the White House could also ban apps in the future if those are deemed a security risk. Virginia Senator Mark Warner, who's also the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, told us he supports this move. We would never allow the Soviet Union or China uh, or Russia now to you know, acquire a national media company like ABC or NBC. Uh, so I'm open to any option. And Fitz, you know, I know there's a lot of concern on mm -hmm. the Hill about TikTok. It also has a ton of users, as we mm -hmm. know, a ton of creators, people yeah. who make their money this way. So where is the White House on this bill? If it gets, by the way, to the president's mm -hmm. desk, a president who himself is on TikTok. Yeah, he is. And, you know, Joe Biden has said that if the bill gets to his desk, he'd sign it. Now, Donald Trump, when he was president, said that he had, you know, was open to the idea of banning TikTok because of these national security questions. However, in the last couple of days, Trump seems to have reversed him on this. But, you know, let's not forget, we're in the middle of a campaign right now for the presidency. There are about 150 million Americans on TikTok's app. A lot of them are young voters. You know, TikTok tried to get this barnstorming effect of calling Congress last week to lobby against this bill. However, Angie, that backfired. Uh, you know, a lot of members of Congress were simply alarmed at the power TikTok had to even spur those phone calls. So one of the things that they're looking at right now is whether or not there is another company in the United States that could buy TikTok, keep the app running, however, remove it from Chinese control. All right, we'll see where it goes from here. Fitz, thanks so much for giving us a little more clarity on the topic. It leads us to our Fox 5 Instable question. We want to know your thoughts. Do you think Congress should ban TikTok? And wow, a lot of you this afternoon say yes, not 100%, but 93. Uh, pretty overwhelming. You can scan the QR code on your screen to cast your vote or just download the Fox 5 DC app and look for the Instable.